I don't listen to the haters, man. I treat them like the enemy. Had a couple traders, man, but now they know the penalty. I tell them, see you later, fam. I do not need this jealousy. I got no time. Welcome back today, boys and girls. As you can see by the box, we are taking a look at Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Jetfire. Come to the side of the box, you get a nice picture of the arc. Come to the back, you get your obligatory product shots, where you can go from Skyfire Jetfire, or his Valkyrie, to cartoon accuracy, which is how I'm going to be displaying him. Come to the side, you get the generic Siege artwork, come to the bottom, your words, things, and such. And Dwarf Cyber. I have not busted the box open because I need to do all this neatly. Because I have to break everything down for recycling. Because you always recycle your boxes if you do not keep the artwork. And, oh, there are the instructions. Well, we don't use them anyways. As you see, coming right out of the box, he's packaged in robot mode. Wow, this figure is currently freezing because it just got delivered, and I need my snips. Because you got two holding in his legs. You got two holding in his ankles. One holding in his arms and his chest. And this thing that releases him? Nope, and you got two holding his wings down. This guy retailed 80. And I should know, I wanted to pick one up. And I was waiting till he hit clearance, if he ever did. The one day I went to go pick him up, when he finally hit clearance at 40. A scalper came and got him. Oh well. So, I will say while I'm cutting the rest of this out to where there is actual audio to go with the footage, to where it's like relevant to the figure, I honestly did not like the Siege Jetfire, how they did portray him. Where he was leader of the Seekers and all that. I think that's still a feature that you can do, like to turn him Seeker. That is taped in as he just falls over. And that is all of that. And fold his sights are down. I do see a little like thumb indent here. Ah, he does feature it. Okay, so yes, he can turn con and bot. Oh, here it is. Aren't there supposed to be like an antenna? Nope. So for Valkyrie mode, I'm going to pure off box art, by the way, for this. So it looks like we clip this onto the chest, but to like pull the mask out, you would push on, or you take this section, lift it up. The mask just like sits right in there. Like I have no idea what that's supposed to peg into. So you then just attach the face. 
Are you kidding me? He actually doesn't have ankle pivot. Wait. Oh, well, also it'd help if his heels were like straight out. Uh, these get pegged into sides of his arms. Um, okay, these come apart. These. Look like they're supposed to peg in up here. Somehow. This splits the two guns. Oh, that's actually really nice. Like, as his fingers fold out, the joint, his hands fold in, the joint, the five millimeter peg hole comes out. Which, these guns are being a pain in the butt to get in there. I don't know if that's just it being cold or what. So for this, we will just give him one giant gun. We will give him one giant gun. Okay, are these supposed to like fold out? Give that apart for transformation purposes. Okay, so I see it. These two, they line up and hold that in place. While these come to the back. Oh, okay, I see that. So if we come to the back, there are these pegs on the wings, which it's easier if you fold these wings straight, these wing pieces straight out, apply pressure here, and then fold it, and just keep the peg straight, which will allow you to attach these on 5mm pegs. Okay. Oh, no, the question is, how do these tab into here? I can only really see them plugging in here, but then again, that doesn't match the box art. Oh, I see. Pegs. And here we have a weird looking Valkyrie mode. Uh, let me grab the trailer for Optimus because I have it somewhere around here. So I can set the stand on top of it. Just for the moment it being, anyways. Yeah. I don't like this at all. Not the stand, I mean the Valkyrie mode. I will not put him back into this mode, honestly, me personally, but I will keep this as like a jetpack piece. So, I just need to pull this all off, and we can get back into doing jet fire. I like to think that the jet, the Valkyrie mode is essentially Megatron turning jet fire back into a con ruthlessly, but putting the Autobot insignia on him so they know it's him.
Okay, so I'll put all these guns and stuff off to the side. He can hold... These are like just missiles. Or like these could just be regular guns for him. If you wanted them to be anyways. Like these, I, I feel like these would be more of like maybe a Lux class kind of size. Which, speaking of which... Here is with Voyager Kingdom Optimus. Generations, not Generation Selects, Generations Deluxe Class Starscream. Legends Power Glide. Which I literally just set him up on his head and it would actually work. And then, because, why not? G1B. Yeah, none of these guys pair up in size comparison. And yes, the other bag that was there are his splooshes. Which are three pieces that turn into giant jet effects. Which I believe are on the standard 5mm porthole, actually. Uh, I need something that's standard 5mm. Oh, hold on, Optimus is back. Five mil. Yep. So we will just quickly get him into vehicle mode. Jet mode. Uh, I think, because it's already been starting to do that, the Rifts will eventually go in. Oh, don't tell me this is just going to be a reissue of... That one generation's one that I really don't like. Okay, because of how expensive this guy is, he, this might actually be one I actually go and look. At the instructions for. Because all I've done so far, like, he has very loud and tight ratchets. Why? No. Recording. Okay. Sorry about that. Um. What in the world? Handlebars. Okay, then we'll figure that out for later. Well, we know these are gonna come out. This question is, will the jet, will the backpack come? Like, I see you're supposed to be able to pull this whole thing apart, generally. Okay. Yeah, let me get the instructions, because I'm not going to try to puzzle this out. And why do I only have 14 minutes of recording time? Okay. So I have Jetfire here in robot mode. We're going to quickly take a good look at him. We're going to first turn him around and come to the back, flip his tips up, come back, and flip these little bits. Flip these forward from the back, we're going to flip these down, they will essentially click into place. We can then now take his wings and fold them down, if they would let me. New figure issues. Then spread his legs. And then turn him around. And there are panels on the... On his legs. That we can now go ahead and flip out. Ooh, 
which they will peg into whole Okay, and then when you do that, it allows you to collapse the legs as such. Do they? Okay, we would pull this up. Nope. Okay, so it comes mistransformed out of the box. Mistransformed out of the box. This, in robot mode, should be like that. Looks like a munchkin now. Okay, so we then undo this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, those are spring-loaded doors. Cool. Oh, we can then take these, fold them off to the side. Okay, and then we take the nose of the jet, flip that forward. Okay, so basically what I did, I collapsed the arm, which is on very tight ratchet, fold that in, fold it like that, and come to the wrist, flip that out, which will allow you to pull this forward, and allow you to fold the arm in, which will then allow you to take this peg, put it into the hole on the side that his Valkyrie armor plugs into, And then we can fold up these grips, which then we can take these panels, fold them in, I do believe. Okay, and then we can take these, I do believe. Okay, there we go, okay. So best way to grip it, I will show you. Take this, use your thumb to push. And while slightly pulling with your two fingers, that will allow you to pregnant your best grip to pull his wing out.
Okay, so the feet, heels, then fronts. Okay, this honestly is kind of weak as far as it jet mode so far because not a lot is pegging in. Okay, so the jet mode. Okay, so to make the booster pack. We will take the big gun. We'll take these two pegs and peg them into this. And then we take these Okay. So then we want to combine these how they were in the box. Okay, so these will go underneath and they will actually also peg into the side of the gun. Peg here, hole here, peg side. And there we go. This bit of the gun will peg into there.
And there we have a jetpack, which we can then peg. And that also kind of helps as a display stand or a support stand. But removing it, he really can't do much on his own. Which the sploosh are actually compatible with his thrusters. So shaking from here, it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna put the Valkyrie armor in the box. Besides what guns I put onto him for him to hold. But honestly, the vehicle mode, I, I, I kind of got to say, is kind of weak. It kind of looks like they tried to somewhat recreate the generations. Well, conversion out of jet mode. And make sure when you put them back in the robot mode, you do firmly peg this back into place. Okay, so take the nose cone, fold that down, which by the way, I'm not seeing a thing where it would have landing gear. Oh wait, here it is. So landing gear. You do it on it actually does have rolling wheels. And then on the shins. So you can actually have them laying down in jet mode. I'm not gonna lie, I wish this piece like would have came apart. But I do appreciate Okay, okay. I nearly forgot to flip these forward. And... Son of a gun. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Oh, yeah. I had the arm up too early. I want to get the 5mm sword piece. In posability, he is actually pretty limited. He has a ball joint in the head, and by the way, I will actually pull the flashlight out real quick. I just had it. It is actually light piped. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, I would kind of like to get a third party piece to where we could pop his head open and replace the light piping with actual LED lights. I, I did put like a button on the back where we have the light piping. If that's even possible. Or even if instead of light piping, they do like the small LEDs. They're like on solar batteries. What? Well, I gotta wrap this one up. I will catch you guys in the next one. Sorry, I'm skipping possibility. Hey guys, wanted to let you know that in the bottom left corner of this video, you'll see a video YouTube recommends. In the bottom right, you'll see my most recent video uploaded. If you look up here in the middle, you'll see that big old subscribe button with one of my logos on it. Go ahead and click that so you never miss an upload. Appreciate you guys for all your love and support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!